Governor Rick Scott made national news when he defended Donald Trump back in January in USA Today. Regulation then he became a darling of national talk shows. We need a big change, and Donald's talking about it. Now the former hospital executive is said to be on a short list of potential vice presidential candidates if Trump wins the GOP nomination. Scott told us it's not on his radar. Are you interested? What I'm focused on is my job here. I've got three years left in this job. We've added a million, 25,000 jobs. I want to add more jobs. But Trump supporter and state representative Larry Ahern thinks Scott would be a good choice. You look at uh, the, the politics of, of Washington and, and you say, what's, you know, what's, what's the biggest problem here? And it's, I think it's the, the political insider game that's always being played. Super lobbyist Bill Rubin lobbied for Scott before he was governor and has known him longer than just about any other Tallahassee insider. They're both business people that are not connected to the political establishment in a year where the political establishment is clearly not the choice, in my opinion, in either party. There is a scenario, however improbable in this year of strange political happenings, that could see Florida end up with its first woman governor without her ever seeking the job. The lieutenant governor is next in line to take over, but he's running for the U.S. Senate. And if he wins, the attorney general, Pam Bondi, would become governor. Reporting from the state capitol, I'm Mike Vasilenda.